going on, my good folks? It's your man, your guy, your boy. 1127 Kicks. I hope everybody out there is having a great day, an amazing day, and an overall blessed day. Hey, man, if you're new to the channel, do your boy a huge favor, man. Hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe to the page. And if you're already with the movement, bro, I greatly appreciate you, man. Hit that like button. Share this video. And let's go ahead and keep this page growing. So, man, official images loaded up a few days ago. This shoe has been put on the sneakers app, and a lot of people thought it may have been a chance that this shoe probably shock dropped yesterday for the MJ documentary, other than the Flints. And we were talking about the Air Jordan 1 Game Royals, Black Game Royals, White Royals, as it says on the sneakers app. But I'm just going to go ahead and call them the Black Game Royals, and that is the shoe that we are talking about today. This shoe is going to be released next weekend may 9th for a retail price of 170 dollars and it also come in girl sizes as well but just getting into the shoe man it's pretty much you know kind of like that black toe color blocking in a sense but it's more of a like a a blue bread toe you feel what i'm saying you just got that nice black in the back you got the black toe box and then on top of that, you know, you go ahead and you put that blue on there. And then you got that royal blue as well on the bottom. Now, it's very, very similar to the fragments. As you see, I'm too lazy to go ahead and grab them. But it's very similar to the fragments, man. Except with the fragments, we all know it has a blue on the back. And we got that, you know, fragment symbol, excuse me, symbol on there. So you just pretty much replace the blue on the fragments, throw the black on the back. And there you go right there. And you put the royal blue on the toe box. There you go, man. You pretty much got yourself a pair of Air Jordan 1 Black Game Royals right there, man. Now, off the rip, this shoe will definitely be an instant sellout, and I feel like that this shoe will be highly profitable. Now, I've seen a few YouTubers that actually have done a review on this shoe, and the leather quality looks amazing on the shoe. I believe one of the, uh, my man Retro Rick from Retro Rick and Maddie's Kicks, make sure y'all check out his page. He has actually done an early review on that shoe and i want to say fine line 1721 as well man so if you just want to see what the leather quality and everything which is very 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 good on the shoe if you ask me from the videos i've seen you can go ahead and check out their, their videos as well but overall man this shoe is super duper dope it's going to be an instant sellout this is the first air jordan one that we will be actually receiving since the core purples that dropped early this month on the 11th of April. Now, off the rip, I feel like that this shoe would definitely be profitable. Definitely be profitable. If you look on StockX, I believe right now, and my size is size 12, it's going for over $500, but the bid is only $300, and then it's kind of like flat out to $363. So, pretty much, if you're trying to get that shoe right now, as far as getting it early, you're probably gonna come out of pocket at least $400 after you know they do the taxes uh shipping fees and they got the extra three percent on StockX as well man so that should just give you a little idea about how profitable this shoe will be if you ask me i can honestly see this shoe off the rip being in that three three hundred three fifty range and then after that i see the shoe honestly going up even more now the big reason why i feel like that that shoe will go up even more because it looks so much like the fragments and if you don't have the pair, a pair of fragments, which are over like $2,000, man, this is the closest thing that you will get to a pair of fragments. And I think just off of that alone, and then this is just being an Air Jordan 1, this shoe will definitely have high profit on there. And depending on how I feel about the quality and everything like that, because I definitely will be going for these, man. I'm going to definitely try my hardest to bring these back home. As far as aesthetics, the way this looks and everything like that, this shoe is pretty much the best Air Jordan 1 right now. As far as every color block and all that other stuff goes and stuff like that. Of course, you know that the best Air Jordan 1 that has released so far, in my opinion, is the UNC to Chicago Air Jordan 1 Women's Exclusives. But, you know, when this one released and I'm able to cop it, man, I feel like that one might go ahead and take over the realms as number one in my personal opinion but 
overall, man, I say don't don't sleep on this shoe. This shoe will sell out pretty fast, man. This shoe is uploaded on the Sneakers app, and this shoe will be releasing, you know, everywhere else. I definitely will be doing a video on that as well, man. You know, I got to keep on the loop about, you know, where to cop the shoes and stuff like that. But this right here is just pretty much a video to go ahead and break down what you can expect from the shoe as well. And then on the top of that, the big thing that I like in Jordan Brand is actually kind of going back to it. You know, they're kind of like just chilling on that sale wave and stuff like that. They're really chilling on it. They're not doing like, they're not being OD with the sale. You feel me? They throwing that nice pure clean white back on the air jordan ones and it gives the shoe a cleaner look you feel what i'm saying and i feel like that's one thing that really makes the shoe pop as well is that white bouncing off that black and blasting bouncing off that royal blue definitely makes all those colors pop in in that shoe honestly man and i'm really feeling that right there jordan brand did not mess it up and it does come with a spare player spare pair excuse me of royal blue laces as well man so they're not tripping like they did on the core purples when they they was really experimenting with them purple laces man because that really killed the shoe for me i didn't even want the shoe after that honestly which is crazy but that's just me right there but you come with a spare pair of royal blue laces man so Overall, man, like I said before, this shoe is amazing. This shoe is super duper dope. It will sell out fast. It will sell out instantly, man. And like I said, if you don't have a pair of fragments and you want a pair of fragments and you just don't have the money right now to actually get them, you feel me? This will be a great substitute for fragments, honestly. A, real, a great substitute. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a smooth shoe. It's a super dope shoe, man. And I, shoot, why not cop it? You dig what I'm saying? This might just be one of those top shoes of the year man so make sure that y'all definitely put your best foot forward to actually try to cop the shoe man because like i said the shoe is super duper dope you can never go wrong with an air jordan one on top of that and then with the colorway the color blocking of the shoe i hey hey this hey this one's going to be a go right here man but y'all let me know how y'all feel about this shoe in the conversation below do y'all think this shoe is a cop or is this shoe a drop are are y'all just you know completely good on the shoe or do you think this is one that you go ahead and put up in the collection and last thing what i want to say is as far as resale goes once again this shoe will be highly profitable if you get them the first day and stuff like that you get multiple multiple pairs the first day and you go ahead and try to flip them you can definitely flip them for over three hundred dollars easy but i do feel like you feel what i'm saying if you could just hold on to them and just keep on holding on to them you will definitely definitely see the prices go up and you'll be able to save them from uh sell them for more for example last year the obsidians after they came out you know that was one of the real hype air jordan ones last year that shoe was maybe at like 190 maybe 200 everybody thought that shoe was a dud they thought it was a flop you go ahead and you look at obsidian ones right now that shoe's over $300 if you want to get that shoe. Another example, Black Cat Air Jordan 4s. People thought that shoe was going to be a dud and everything like that. And when they first came out, you could pay barely over retail and go ahead and get the shoe. That shoe was going for $280, $300 right now. You feel what I'm saying? And it's April, about to be made. So if you could hold on to the shoe, if you could just sit on the shoe just for a little bit, that price would definitely shoot up, man. You just got to be a little patient but if you have those if you had that patience you're able to do that you would definitely see the boost in the revenue that you would make off of reselling that shoe and if you just want that quick flip you want that money right now most definitely man i understand that go ahead and do that you feel what i'm saying because overall after the shoe sells out everybody's gonna hit stock x everybody's gonna hit go they're gonna want the shoe and stuff like that and pretty much you can put the price at whatever you want it at that point in time you feel what i'm saying but after everybody gets their pairs you already know the shoe's going to kind of dip a little bit because everybody got their pairs. They're chilling. They're enjoying it. And then eventually, the people who had actually held their pairs, that's when that market is really going to boost up or whatever and stuff like that, man. So make sure y'all just be on y'all P's and Q's when it comes to this shoe. I feel like this shoe will be widely available. You know, it's still an Air Jordan 1, so it's not technically limited and stuff like that. But at the same time, you feel me? It's not going to be like a million pairs or something like that. So definitely be on your P's and Q's. Be on your game, man. And you will be able to get the shoes, man. Y'all already know how, how I feel about that, man. I want everybody to get their pairs. And before we go, man, make sure y'all go ahead and go to GoShoeCare.com, man. Use promo code 1127 underscore kicks and get the best shoe care product that's out there right now. It's very affordable. 
great shoe product, man. If you want to see my Go Shoe Care videos, make sure y'all hit that link in the description section below. It's the link to all my videos, man. And you can definitely check that out. Great product, man. Protect your shoes with the best product out there. I greatly appreciate that, man. Support their movement as well. And check this out, man. If you search for good, you find a favor. You search for evil, it shall find you. Proverbs 11:27, man. Y'all boys stay blessed. Y'all stay safe out here. And it's your boy 1127 Kicks. And always remember, bless your feeble side. Who did hit me up and told me shit on these niggas? Cause these niggas out here came back to go on showing the different. Keep on dropping all of that shit that made these four wanna listen. You know these niggas hate fucking tell a get out of